Retroarch is a free and open source cross-platform front-end for emulators, game engines, video games, media players, and other applications. Today I'm going to show you how to get Retroarch on a Chromebook in 2024 going to 2025 let's get into this first you need to head over to flat hub which is the primary site of where i get these emulators click set up flat hub click a chrome os and then install flat pack which is what we're going to do already installed it so I should be free to go after you set up flat pack and the flat hub respiratory and did all of these commands then you're free to get some applications now we can go and get retroarch after you're done with that then you can search up retroarch or go to the game section and you will see retroarch click on that Click this, then copy and paste these two commands. Just go to terminal. I already have them copy and paste, so I don't have to worry about anything. So, yeah. To show you, after you copy and paste these two commands, then RetroArch will launch, and boom, you have RetroArch. Now, let's figure out on getting the games. So now the site we're going to use to get ROMs, or games in that matter, will be romsfun.com, which is an alternative to Romspeer with a different color and aesthetic. The games are downloadable, which means that you're able to get the games without it showing as unavailable or having all these errors on the internet. So let's get into this one. So after you head over to romesfun.com, you can go to roms. For me, I will pick NES. You can pick any other console that's available for RetroArch as a core. Get the first Super Mario Bros. Click download. Let's download this one. Now I have it as a zip file. Just click save for your game. Boom. Now all you have to do to add your game to RetroArch is to go to files, click recent, copy or cut your game file where you download from the site, roomsfun.com. Click on Linux files but click on show hidden files because that's where I'm going to show you where to add the games to recharge. Click on dot there, click on app, click on RetroArch, click on config, click on RetroArch, and click on downloads, then click paste, then extract all, and boom, there's the folder for your game. So now that we did all that, we can go to RetroArch. Just click this to wide it. Uh, you can install a core that matches the specific console that your game is for. I'm just going to load my core, which is the NES core, Vapcon. Then I'm going to go to downloads. This is the directory I put it in. Click this, click this, click files, click that, click your zip file right here, and then just click load archive if it shows that. And boom, you have successfully downloaded RetroArch along with the access to your game. So if you like this video, please leave a like, 
If you have any concerns or problems with setting up the emulator or the methods that I mentioned in this video, comment down below and tell me so then I can fix that. As in the end of the day, Metro out.